Okay, we now move to this performance evaluation block of this framework and it is the same data, okay, uh, the same structure, only thing is the way we calculate certain things change, okay, and we have to, we will kind of discuss this after, after we cover this as to what actually, what, what is actually the difference. So, when we, when we look at performance evaluation, instead of using uh, what do you call productivity in its our production in its uh, in its numerical form? We are going to try to get a factor. So we are taking actual productivity by planned productivity as a productivity performance. Okay, so this is productivity performance, and the same thing will be there for and the same thing we would get performance factor for production will be actual production divided by plant production. And so, if the performance factor is greater than 1, what does it mean? Better. better. That means, my actual is better than plant, okay. And uh, here is, uh, here is a, here is a table, it is I think part of the earlier table where we are showing the same, uh, same sequence, only one week of data is there. So, you can see here, uh, actual work done, we, we have 124 we had calculated as the actual productivity okay and the productivity okay so if i divide 124 by planned productivity was 120 i will get my performance productivity performance as 1.0 okay similarly my actual work done is 6589 okay divided by 4167 is my required daily production I will get my production value. Okay, so these are the two factors that is performance for productivity and performance for production. Now, all I do is take the same data and put it into a performance factor graph. Okay, so this shows the daily variation in performance. Now, so what is the difference between the graph we saw here and the graph when we saw in the productivity context? There, there, was two lines. Correct. there, there is two benchmarks here, the both benchmark is one, the one is the same and your visual comparison is a bit easier to see where it, yes. where what is. Okay, there you had to look at the 120 and the production requirement and then kind of eyeball what it is. Here when you are looking at it visually, this is a bit easier to see the difference. This is the same issue on weekly, but individual weekly, okay. Here it's, it, it will be the same thing, okay. It will, it will be going back and this is the cumulative weekly, okay. So again, you can see that, so this, this, this is, uh, this is the, uh, this is the production. and this is productivity. Okay, so I do not need two axes, there is one axis with, with the factor and I can visualize what is happening. Okay, so uh, as far as this axis goes, it, it, you know, we are just taking the 10 weeks directly. Okay, so it is not, uh, it is, it's, uh, you know, do not look at days, it is just that Excel has compressed it and this is the 10 weeks of data directly. Same thing with the cumulative, okay. We need both, right sir? We need? We need both. Hmm. This one, hmm. when we say performance factor 1 and then comparing both the parameters, production and productivity yeah. in a single graph, yes. In no, no, when you say both, you mean production and productivity or you mean weekly absolute values and factor values? What, what did you mean? No, sir, if you look at particular this graph. Yeah. Performance factor one. Hmm. That's our target. Right. Whether it's a productivity or production. Yeah. yeah. So that's where we compare always. Correct. But if I want to go into the details of productivity and production, hmm. then I have to follow the previous one already. What do you mean by detail? So how much actually? 
Rather yeah, if you want the one. numerical value, you definitely have to go to the earlier one. This one gives you whether I am meeting my target or not. Okay, And because both are on the same axis and the same graph, it is visually easier to monitor. This can be used at the, at the little bit at the management level. In the previous one. Yeah, yeah. No, so if I use, uh, if I go here, it is the same information. This is high variation, but with the same benchmark, same one. So this would be used at the crew level. This would be used at the planning level. This would be used at the management. Okay, so the performance factor is uh, viewed as being more visually interpretable than the what do you say these? Okay, because here I have two. I have to look at production axis, productivity axis. But this, this all the data is the data the same or different? Same data. Same data. Exactly the same. Okay, and again, uh, these are the options. Okay, if somebody, if, if one team is very comfortable with this, please go ahead and use this. Nothing to stop you from using. But in general, uh, globally, this is being viewed as being the more uh, more common way of reporting the productivity and the trends of productivity. Whether I am using this, this, 